This is the complaint. North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein's office filed with the court seeking a temporary restraining order against Roger Dale Simmons from operating here in the state. We're going to pursue this as long as it takes, and we hopefully will get money back for people, but we definitely want a permanent injunction that says he cannot do this anymore in the future so that if he violates that, he will be in contempt of court and subject to the full penalties of the judge. Stein's office is also seeking restitution for the 10 customers who filed complaints, but now have more than $136,000 in losses and unfinished work. Since 2018, we've investigated Simmons for leaving multiple homeowners throughout Wake and Durham counties, out thousands of dollars after Simmons signed remodeling contracts. But either Simmons didn't finish it or he left them with shoddy work. After our story, Simmons was convicted of several counts of obtaining property under false pretenses and did jail time. Once he got out of jail, Simmons started another business called Deck Ace Handyman Services. He's not supposed to use those framings. One homeowner after the next. No permits, no inspections, nothing. Left with unfinished work. Nothing was done right. Homeowners in Apex and Cary reached out to me after paying Simmons thousands of dollars for jobs, yet Simmons stopped showing up. In some cases, inspectors issued a stop work notice due to the jobs not properly permitted and work done wrong. Apex police did file warrants against Simmons, but the latest court records show those warrants have not been served yet. Now that Stein's office filed this complaint with the courts, they're hopeful a hearing for the temporary injunction will happen within a few days. This case is a reminder that you must do your research before you hire any contractor, especially if the work is more than $30,000. Check to make sure they are licensed as you need to be in the state of North Carolina. Simmons is not licensed. In Raleigh, I'm troubleshooter Diane Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.